As you can see, I'm sat next to a Cypripedium, a type of slipper orchid. There's about 30 species uh, present in China. The major majority of those are endemic. This particular one is Cypripedium yunanensi. It's endemic to the, the state of Yunnan. It's very closely related to a couple of other species that we're also going to see, Cypripedium tibeticum and hopefully Calcicola. This one is characterized by its, by its smaller flowers and uh, generally diminutive stature, um, whereas Tibeticum and Calcicola, as you'll see later, uh, hopefully, are much larger plants. Um, but it's certainly no less beautiful. And I actually had no idea that they, they have their scent. Um, and this one has a, a, a very faint, sweet perfume, which is rather nice. These three flowers are of the orchid Cypripedium tibeticum, so-called because it's found in Tibet, but it's also fairly widespread in Western China. It's one of the larger of the purple-flowered Cypripedium species. For the third and final species, Cypripedium calcicola, we've traveled into Sichuan, the adjacent province. Cypripedium calcicola was once included within Cypripedium tibeticum. As you can see, they're very similar, but its flowers are characterized by the extremely dark coloration and the absence of a white rim around the mouth. These plants are already very threatened um, and are classified on uh, CITES Appendix 1, uh, so their trade is heavily restricted internationally. Even so, they are threatened by a variety of different human activities, including agriculture, and in this case, tunneling, which is undermining their habitat directly.